Welcome to this video. Today I will be going over some basic Mozilla Firefox maintenance that you can uh, do to help increase performance and make sure that it's running at its peak efficiency, but it will also help increase privacy and security as well. So to get started, what we'll want to do is come up here to the top right corner and click on the menu button and then go down to the bottom where it says help and click on it and then click on about Firefox and this is just going to double check to make sure Firefox is up to date. If it is not up to date, it will automatically start the update and then you'll just need to restart Firefox once it has completed. The next thing that you'll want to do, if you want to clear out the history and garbage out of the browser, to do so you'll come up here to the top right hand side and there's a little icon right here that looks like some books or some lines. If I click on it, there is a history option right here that we can click on and then right here it will say clear recent history. We just click on that and it gives us this little menu. Just make sure that you set these settings to the way that you want because once the history has been deleted there's no way to get it back. And so you can change the time range if you'd like to do so. If you want to get rid of everything and get rid of all the garbage in history, just go ahead and select everything. Make sure all of these boxes are checked and then you'll just click on clear now. Next what you'll want to do is come back up here to the top right corner and click on the menu button again. But this time go down to where it says add-ons and click on it. And then just make sure the extensions option on the left hand side is selected. And then the first thing you'll do is come over here to this gear icon and click on it. And just click on check for updates. And then also underneath this gear icon, just make sure that you do have a check mark that says update add-ons automatically. That's very important just because those can include security updates for the extensions. Now a note concerning extensions. Yes, extensions can be very fun, they can be very convenient, but they are terrible for privacy and they are terrible for security. Even legitimate extensions can be exploited by hackers and malware and so that's why in many of my videos I strongly recommend that you remove any and all extensions that you possibly can and on top of that extensions can slow your web browser down and so by removing them it can help improve the performance of your web browser. As far as privacy extensions can also track you and so they're not good for privacy whatsoever and so the only exception I would even consider is if you have an extension that has to do with a password keeper or password vault or password manager that's the only exception I would make even if you have an extension listed here from your antivirus I would still remove that just because usually those give you a false sense of security and education will do a much better job protecting you than any extension will also another note if you ever see an extension with the title of toolbar it absolutely must be removed it does not matter which company it's from if it has toolbar in the title you must remove it so what we're going to do is we're going to go through our small list of extensions and I would recommend that you do so as well and so you can see this first one does have to do with a password manager uh, and so we are going to keep this one but I do recommend that you disable any extensions you are going to keep so that way that's not running when it's not in use that will again help increase privacy and security and also help the browser run more efficiently and then you can see the second one does have toolbar in the title so we absolutely must remove it by clicking the remove button off to the right hand side and then this last one again we want to get rid of as many extensions as we possibly can and so even though this is a convenient fun extension to have we are going to remove it to increase privacy and security as well as performance. Now, please keep in mind some extensions may not fully remove until you restart the browser. So just keep that in mind if it doesn't uninstall right away. Now, after you've gone through all of your extensions, come over here to the left hand side and click on the plugins tab. And this will list all of the plugins you have on your Firefox web browser. What I would recommend doing here is off to the right hand side, there is a drop down menu. Go through each one click on the drop down menu for each individual item. If it has an option to select ask to activate, go ahead and select it. If it doesn't have the option, just leave it set as is. But again, set it to ask to activate if it does give you the option for that plugin. The next thing we're going to do is come back up here to the top right corner to click on the menu button. And this time go down to where it says options and go ahead and click on it. 
Now I'm not going to go through every single option listed here. We're just going through the basics. But make sure you have the general uh, tab selected on the left hand side. And then some of the main options here is if you want to make Firefox your default, you can click on this button right here to do so. You can also decide what happens when Firefox first opens. And then right here, you can change your home page if you would like to do so. You just type in whatever you want your home page to be right here in this box. Additionally, if we come back to the left hand column and click on search, this will give us uh, some search options. Now, right here at the top, we can change the search uh, box up at the top. Uh, I'm just going to leave it to the default setting. You can select what you prefer. And then right here, we can change our default uh, search engine. And so if I click on the drop down menu, I do recommend that you use either Google, Bing, Yahoo, or if you want to increase privacy, use DuckDuckGo. Regardless, you can select whichever default search engine you would like to use. And then next, you'll want to come back here to the uh, left hand column and click on privacy and security. And the main options that I would look for here, if I scroll down uh, underneath the track sh uh, tracking and protection uh, section right here, make sure that always is selected underneath do not track. That will help increase privacy. So again, just make sure the always option is selected. And then if I go down just a little bit more, uh, underneath uh, Firefox data collection and use, I would uncheck all of the boxes here just to minimize the amount of data that's being sent back to Mozilla. That also helps improve the performance of the browser because it's not constantly contacting Mozilla. So not only is this good for privacy, but it's also good for performance. And then also, uh, underneath the security section uh, down here, just make sure all of these boxes are checked. This will help increase security and just help protect you from clicking on dangerous uh, downloads or links while surfing the web. Now the very last thing I want to go over is again on this left hand column, if you click on Firefox account, you do have an option to set up a free account. And the advantage uh, with doing that is if you have multiple devices, you can sync everything you do in Firefox across all of those devices. It's very useful, very handy. And so this is where you go to do that if that's something you would like to do. That's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.